Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Sleep. Let's have to give us some good breakfast. We're in Colorado. Yeah, that's having hair to comb. Let's see. Get the collar fixed up. I think I look like I am in oil filled reflective vest and this jacket on. But, um, I'm not in Denver. I'm more like, um, northeast of it. I got a preloaded trailer ready to pick up at this, uh, uh, meat processing plant. And going back to Cali. 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 Oh man, I'm going back to Cali. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's joking. It's um SoCal, Southern California, LA. I'm going there without dealing with any hassle. It's just Northern California it could be a pain in the butt. Truckee, California. But I'm going down. Right now I'm just waiting on some daylight. Hey, the rush. We wait to take ten, ten night. And wait for the city. So I'm down the no rush hour, gent. I think I got um. Yeah, many more miles. Okay. Now this stupid thing ain't, ain't changing things up. Okay. Act from. My odometer. It knows the odometer. Well, how about this? 666 location H E R E here. Pulling the crap on me. I'm being smart, I can be smart too. Let's uh, see here. Technology. We need miles location. You know where it is. The truck hadn't moved. The same thing as it was last time I logged in. Well, I'll give you a location. I'll give you some miles. <laughs> here. <laughs> I'm here. We're here. Where here is? Was last, was last location. That's what here is. Anyways. Okay. this thing here. Fine. Yeah, about seven six miles away. Fort Morgan, Colorado. Let's see here. Does they even know where I'm at? I'm just outside Denver. I think I ran out of Ran out of hours. I found this restaurant that had um, truck parking. It's free if you if you um, get something to eat. Thirty six point four miles ahead. Take exit seventy five and then turn right on I seventy six business east. Okay, now I'm even closer. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, well, I, I thought it was a lot closer than that. Again, like I'm way outside the Denver area. Yeah. 49 minutes away then. I think I was closer. Uh, Turn right on ramp to I-76. Slow technology. Slow technology. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yep. Able to send a good chunk of change to my wife. So when she wakes up check your phone be a pleasant message and paid off the insurance for this month already I haven't made the car payment yet I got to Saturday they can wait try to get ahead and they whatever whenever I've come home trade that thing off 
should get it. We should get more than what I owe for it. Only has 100,000 miles on it. They're selling ones same year. If over 200,000 miles on it, won seven grand. I guess they're kind of, they hold their value. We we'll trade off for something that will depreciate like a heart attack. And my wife, I love her, but she puts on a lot of miles for someone that does not have a job. And if she won't go to college, she'll put on a lot more miles. So I need something that I can pay off. You know, mileage, five passenger. They got Cherokee there. It's used. Doesn't have that many miles on it. We want seventeen thousand for it. You know, they get that knocked down. So I won't be able to afford to have prepaid maintenance already taken care of. So when something's due, all she has to do is roll on in the dealership. If it's going to take a while. They they give her a service loaner. Yeah. And I get the get the good treatment. So I probably can't really afford too many bells and whistles. But when she gets on for cards, like in four years, we can bump that up. A bit better if it's paid for. So I won't have the risk of getting upside down. Like that's happened before. And then get something that'll hold its value, something more bells and whistles, whatnot. Yeah. I think, I mean, once you get your RN, and she's gonna try stepping it up, which I'd be great. First, let's get the first part done. Then we go from there on what type of vehicle to get. Just get good money to RN. Then look at get some um, a jacked up four wheel drive truck. Of course, she'd be four years older. She might be a little more practical. Doesn't mean we can't get one as a toy, not an everyday runner. You know. You know, get a, a 70s vehicle, 70s truck that's different way jacked up. Something that you won't worry about getting scratched up, dented, take it off mudding, and do some, have some fun going off these um, four wheel drive camp out trips. You know, mud bogs and whatnot. I think that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. The family event, four wheelers, whatnot. The boys can just go tossing off in the mud. Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking about that. That's, that's so. That, like, that's definitely that'd be that'd be awesome. That would be just so awesome. See my wife playing in the mud, you know, muddy. Get old F two fifty or Chevy doesn't really matter. And I was jacked up with not a belt driven transfer case but all gear which is kind of hard to find but something you have to worry about if you banged up oh well it's a mutter maybe something from the 80's you know something like no, the truck don't cost that much this is down the road I definitely look forward to coming home and training that expedition off. So, like I said before, I got tired of my Lincoln, you know, hood, I mean, the trunk now staying shut, and then always fighting with the hood because that last thing, it was, it was, it need, <coughs> it need maintenance. I mean, then it started missing, which was a coil pack. I just, like, you know, got. 
to me it was embarrassing that the the carpet was all stained up because no one the windows wouldn't stay up. They told me it took like two or fifty bucks, got that fixed. And try to find time or feeling like stripping out, taking out the seats, replacing the carpet. Had new had carpet already bought for it in the trunk, but I don't know. My son liked it because we had for so long. Four years is a long time for someone who's, you know, who's 10. But, um, that's what he wants the car, that's what he wants for a first car is a Lincoln. Who knows? A pickup. Oh, S10 or something. A little Ranger, maybe. Well, who knows? I mean, I got the SUV, I got that um, expedition because you know, at the time we was divorced. I'm like, well, I just leave it. I can it be parked most of the time at the at the terminal. Well, I'm I mean on the road driving. I just drop my truck over the terminal to get a service done, but they failed me a couple times on that because they're incompetence. And um, well, they didn't tell me how to change things. I mean, get appointment, all that bullshit. Um, I just hop in my vehicle and drive to the house, you know, and drive back, park it, boom. Shit, I, I was planning, like, I'm like, should I keep that thing for eight years? Two years I have it paid for, and then. No more paper. I could probably customize it or whatnot. But we got back together, and that's even better. So I got I got re I do things differently, but yet at the same time be wise. You know, get something some good gig fuel mileage. I can hold five people. Something that my wife would like. We're going to be stuck with it until it's paid for. Until she's done school. Hopefully she's already got the... Over the paperwork stuff she has to take care of. Knocked out. You know. Oh, really hope this time's the time. in college and follow through. Of course, I can't get her knocked up. <laughs> yeah. I do feel the time right now is the right time. Just, you know, for all that. I think I get a vehicle that I can pay off quickly. Low payments where I can pay over the payment get paid off quick. Save on interest. That's my plan. Get as low as payments I can. And then, then double down the payments when I can afford it. If anything extra on so that's finance goes on the principal. That's I'm doing that is the first year. The first year or so that's when they get gathered interest. You got a little bit on principal. Knock that principal down. The low payments, I ain't to worry about the finance, the whatever, the interest. At the end of the day, I'm not going to end up paying that. So, yeah. Unless we get one hell of a deal on something new. Then you take the operation to take it off, but we're not keeping it for two years. We're going to keep it till it's done with college. You just see, the, see what options there is. They can, you know. So bad they want to get rid of the, of the 17s. Yeah. 
as long as I ain't silver. And when you used turkey, I was you know, looking at there, it was blue, or dark blue. Red would be kind of nice. Something that sticks out. But it's what my wife's going to like, she's going to be driving it. And we'll be paying it. <laughs> so, I'm looking forward to it. You know, looking forward. Things are getting better. And I watch these trucks go by. On the flow back. And these people are complaining, you know, about drilling and everything else. Same, same crap, just different place. And then they'll go away. I mean, these rules would not, and then they go away. Do all the drilling, cap stuff off, and move on. If I can constantly clear a thousand bucks a week, that's pretty much what I was, what I was making in the damn oil field. Paid 17, 18 bucks an hour. A few thousand a week over the road, not burn my ass off. That's pretty good. They get that fuel down, got conserve on fuel. I can do it. I'm not on the dedicated count. I mean, it can be done. Just a good job. Give me the loads. I'm going to go down south of California, Southern California. No problem. It's not too crazy about Northern California. But now I am now. I think they took care of this truck. <laughs> so now I got less, you know, fear. Is there f fear out here with this occupation? Yes. Fear of having to go to jail. <laughs> fear of something. <coughs> uh, some, some fine or some bullshit to take money away from you. of death that's a, that's like a release like oh okay it's over dying's easy living's hard yeah. yeehaw hope there's some sun today it's kind of dreary right now it's dark yesterday it's kind of dreary it's like ugh I push myself like oh come on And, yeah, things are going good. I'm happy to send the amount of money to my wife. And he didn't leave me broke. I took care of my insurance for the month, which was like 90 some odd dollars. I remember I paid more than that just for liability when I was 16. It's like, dang on. And I got insurance before they made it mandatory. Yeah. I'm paying off because that one friend of mine borrowed my vehicle. Of course, I wasn't listening to my dad. I'm thinking, why would someone drive reckless in someone else's car? I mean, hey, if you break it, you bought it. I lied about where he was taking it. Ran the red light. T-bone another truck, the Maverick. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> yippee yee haw! Yeah. 
And don't forget gap insurance in case something happens to the vehicle. My wife gonna be putting miles on it, so I can, I can get the gap insurance. Next ten warranty. Pencil's warranty is already on it. It's about to charge. But definitely, I'm going to see what the price is on the prepaid maintenance. And just to say, just say, like, okay, the convenience. My wife comes in, drop off vehicle, will she get a loaner? I wish she have to sit there a whole day. She's going to school. Yeah. That won't be convenient. It'd be better off. I paid the maintenance as it's due, wherever she said she got off school, bump swing by Walmart, get the oil chains done, rotation. They should these are all you need, so. Because they ain't going to worry about resale value. Because it's not going to have, when we're ready to trade it in, it ain't going to have no value. It's going to have, like, probably a lot of miles on it. Four years, probably 150000 I'm planning for that, you know. They like, oh, resale value, and oh, you all know, the stress about, oh, uh, blah, 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 not as much as we thought. Going to expect nothing. And when we get above nothing, it'd be, hey, we got something. See so a vehicle just for transportation, new, almost new, that's things to worry about. Yeah. Let's just see about that. And negotiate about how much they want for you know prepaid maintenance and everything else like that or extended warranty. Everything's up for negotiation. Just because they say, well, that's what it is. This what well, we want. This much. This how much it costs. Like ah, eh, not that much. And then you work down that on that on that stuff here. Like for me, it's like well, we should get a rental car. I mean, a rental car, but a free loaner. She can drop it off, hop into a loaner, and go into school. Or something like that. If they won't do that, be like, then it's. It ain't worth me uh, paying for the prepaid maintenance. We just pay for it as it needs it. Most of it's just oil changes, tire rotations. We just see. And the app, it tells about it, but it doesn't really tell about it. It doesn't tell the price. So apparently, that's negotiable. We just work on that. Bad turkey. They do look pretty cool. Yeah. Good mileage. Five people. Yeah. It sounds pretty good. Sounding pretty good. It's already, it's already coming off. Dang, damn it. Pretty, pretty good. Nice and quiet out here. Pretty nice. Uh, so, you have anything weird to talk about? Hmm. Um, Yeah. Not really. Oh yeah, that shootout thing, yeah. I was guessing on shooters and whatnot. 